Hi. Last week we did a video showing how our new noise gate and downward expansion plugin works when we're using it on drums. And we showed how using downward expansion we can remove some of the room reverb sound and some of the ringiness of the cymbals. Um, this week I want to show you how the same plugin works on guitar. And the main thing I want to talk about is what's different between a gate and a downward expander. Uh, because I think most people will be familiar with the idea of how a noise gate works, but the downward expander is something a little bit trickier to get your get your head around. Um, so what you're looking at on the screen right now is a test signal. And the test signal is a, a sine wave, a tone, that is decaying exponentially, which approximates the, the type of uh, decay that you would have on guitar strings. And then halfway through the signal, it jumps up back to full volume. So the main thing I want to look at is what happens on the left side when this signal drops below the threshold. So I'm going to go into um, <coughs> Xcode, which is the tool that we use for developing plugins on Mac and iOS. And um, I've got a test function called test noise gate, which is um, generating this test signal and then processing it through the noise gate. So currently the noise gate is disabled. I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to set the ratio to 100 to 1. What's actually going to happen here, I've, I've set something inside the code I won't show you um, because that's out of scope of this video. Um, I've set something so that when the ratio goes above 50, it actually switches into a, a standard noise gate mode instead of a, an expander mode. So when I put 100 here, that will go into straight gate mode. And now I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to run this. And I have my output, and I'm using... So this, uh, I think this won't surprise anyone. We see the same, the same exponential decay we saw as before. And when we get down near the threshold, then it closes the gate and we get this space of silence uh, for a moment until it looks like right about, it's, it's hard to guess timing from the spectrogram here, but I'd guess right about here, um, the input volume went back above the gate and then the gate uh, has a little bit of delay, uh, which is controlled by the attack time setting. And that's just to help prevent it from clicking when the gate goes back open. So the gate actually started to open here, and then it took um, a short time. This 56 samples. So it sounds like less. I'm not doing the math, but it sounds like less than a millisecond, and the gate was was fully open again. So that is noise gate mode, which I think I think won't surprise anyone. Um, now I want to go into expander mode. So let's take let's take a downward expansion ratio of 2.0 and run the plugin again. Um, I, I'm running the plugin in Xcode as, a pair, as opposed to just running the real plugin because this allows me to um, generate test signals more easily and to look at the output in a WAV file as opposed to uh, having to look at it in real time. So pay attention to this, this area right here as I reload this file. So now what you see is that it's decaying exponentially, but right around this area there's sort of a knee where the decay rate doubles. So here it's decaying at some certain number of decibels per second, and then here it starts decaying more quickly. So if, you, if you're using this on a guitar, uh, one of the, the main problems that we sometimes have with noise gates is that when you get near the threshold, um, they cut off hard and fast. And so you want to set the threshold really low because you, if you don't, you'll be cutting the sustain off the end of your, your notes and then that can, sound, that can sound really wrong. I mean, like if you're sustaining at the, uh, you know, at the end of a song perhaps and then the note is ringing out and ringing out and ringing out and then it just stops like that. You don't, you don't want that. Um, so, with this downward expander, what's going to happen is when you get below the threshold, it just starts decaying more quickly. Uh, and to make that a little bit easier to see, let's take the decay rate all the way up to uh, 4. So this means it's going to decay 4 times as fast. When it goes below the threshold, your notes will decay 4 times as fast as they would have 
normally decayed if you didn't have this um, noise gate running. Right, so you can see it, you can see it really well now with the with the, the uh, ratio of four to one, is it has this certain decay rate, and then below the threshold it starts decaying more quickly. So the big advantage to this is going to be that first of all, um, if you do this gently, you won't you won't notice this. You might not notice this uh, change in decay rate. It certainly isn't going to sound like it cut off the end of your note. It just sounds like the guitar got to the end of its sustain, and that was it. Um, the other advantage to this is that uh, when you use a normal gate, you normally have this problem that towards the end of the note, you've got mostly noise and not much tone. Um, whereas with this with this method, you can you can afford to set the threshold a little bit higher because it's not such a hard cutoff. You know, maybe maybe you want to you know you actually wanted to cut uh, cut from this point. You wanted to to start cutting the noise out. With a expander, you can cut it much higher up, and it and it will sound a lot more natural. Which means that um, you're going to start turning the volume down before the noise, uh, the noise from your pickups is is making up a substantial part of what you're hearing, and then the noise and the guitar tone will fade in volume together. So hopefully you won't notice that there's a gate on it when you use that. So that's all I wanted to show you from uh, from the visual side. Next thing, I'm going to plug a guitar in and we'll actually listen to what this sounds like. Okay, I'm going to start recording in AUM. Make sure I've got the recording armed. Good. So I've got <clears throat> a very simple setup here. Uh, I'm going with my guitar through a Focusrite uh, 2i2 audio interface. First up, I've got my noise gate. And then I've got a ridiculously high 24 decibel gain boost, followed by a free plugin called Fuzz Plus from Audio Damage, which is uh, a very fuzzy fuzz distortion. Um, so I'm going to take my hands off the strings, and you can hear there's noise coming through, and I'm going to take the noise gate off. Now you can hear there's a lot of noise coming through. Um, so if I put the gate on and I put it in gate mode, you can see the gate is closed because my noise level is below the threshold and everything is cool. Um, you can see this, so this, this line that moves um, is the noise level and this line that moves according to this thing, this is my threshold. So as soon as my threshold goes below threshold goes below the noise level, the gate is open, and that's standard gating mode. But um, the problem with gating mode is like this. I'll play a, a power chord here. Um, it's kind of weird the way that cuts off. So let's come out of gating mode and take the expander all the way down to two. We might even go down to one because it works. It works really well for cutting noise out even at the lowest ratios. Um, and then we'll put the threshold a little bit higher. In fact, I'm going to take my my fingers off the strings and adjust the threshold until the noise level is reasonable. So you can hear we still got noise coming through with my fingers. I'm using a bridge single coil pickup on a Strat. But the noise gate is cutting out, really a, a lot of noise is getting cut out here. So now let's listen to what happens as the notes, uh, as a, to play a chord and let it decay. <laughs> faster than it would normally decay if I didn't have the gate in. Um, in fact, let's let's do that again, and I'm going to take the gate in and out as it's decaying. I wonder if that'll work. Let's see. Play a lower chord. Okay, we just crossed the threshold.
So you can see we've still got sustain, but the cool thing about this is that you never heard the noise gate cut out because in fact it, it never actually cut out. Uh, it, is, it is a little bit. You can see it kind of oscillating between negative 60 dB and closed here. Um, let's take this ratio right all the way down to the bottom. Let's see what happens. We're now below the threshold, but you don't hear the gate cutting out. But I feel like at this point we've got we've got too much noise. So what I'm going to do is put the threshold up a little higher until I'm I find it's an acceptable noise level like that. Now let's see what happens. I feel like that's still that's still a little too much. I think I, I think I liked it better with this higher this higher thing. Let's let's take the ratio right up to let's try 3.5 and we'll take the threshold down a little lower. So at that point, I think you can you can clearly hear there's a gate or there's you know there if you listen to that you know there's something going on. I think this seemed to be the best setting. Let's go with that again. So I'm taking my hands off the strings. I have to put the threshold up a little higher. Obviously, you can see there's a lot of compromising here because uh, when I use this downward expander, some of the noise is going to be leaking through. Um, so it's a question of you know how much of that am I willing to allow to come through. Um. Yeah, and that seems okay to me. Now this is this is an extreme example um, because I, I I think if if you if you've been listening to this guitar tone, this probably isn't the kind of tone you want to have on your next album. Um, if we would take this ridiculous gain boost out and and perhaps use something a little bit less extreme than this particular fuzz effect. So I think we could take the threshold down now that I don't have that enormous gain boost. I'm taking my hands off the strings. We could take the threshold right down to there. Yeah, and that sounds pretty good to me. I think I think you, when you're looking at this graph, you can clearly see that when we drop below the threshold, you hear some some reduction in volume. But if you were listening to that on a record, I don't know if you if you'd figure that out. Let's try even. Let's try the lowest ratio once again. Oh, not bypass. Sorry, the lowest one is one point five. So that sounds acceptable. I'm hearing noise, but but it's a lot less. Right. That seems perfect to me. Like, I, I would feel very comfortable playing with that, and I'd feel comfortable allowing notes to, to sustain out if I want to, and not, not being afraid that the gate is going to cut them off in an unnatural way. Just for one last comparison before we end the video, I'm going to take it all the way back into gate mode, and let's listen to that. So that's what we, that's what we would have had with the gate mode. Um, so I think I think for guitarists, if you're if you're using high gain um, high gain amps uh, and you have it set up in a way that allows you to use audio units, this is going to be a really nice way for you to to gate out noise in a way that doesn't doesn't limit your ability to sustain a note and be afraid that oh you know at the end of the note I'm going to get cut off somehow. Um, you're, as you can see, you're still getting cut off, but I think I think the way to, to describe this is that because the cutoff is so slow, 
you kind of as it kind of mixes and integrates into your playing as if it were just the natural decay of the strings and so you you know you you're not surprised by the cutoff you hear it coming three or four seconds before it it actually you know done fading you you already feel it and so you can work with that musically um we'll end the video here uh if you liked this uh hit subscribe so that um Next time you're watching YouTube, our next video will be prioritized in your uh, video feed. And if you would be so kind, click like, because that helps uh, our videos get seen by other people and uh, helps us grow our channel. Thanks for watching and thanks for clicking like. See you next time.